The primate of all Nigeria Anglican Communion, the Most Reverend Dr. Henry Ndukuba, has given approval for the institution and hosting of the Church of Nigeria Consultation on Theological Matters. The consultation is to hold from Monday 17th to Friday 21st July 2023. According to the Bishop Theologian of the Church of Nigeria, Right Reverend Professor Asaju, the need for the consultation is informed by some challenges currently faced by the Church of Nigeria and the Global Church in administering theology. Things change at a point in time in the Western Europe because of secularism. They no longer believe in God in many cases. In fact, recently, American government passed a law that the Bible should be taken off the shelves of all colleges and secondary schools. They are going homosexual, they are doing so many things. They call it liberal theology. You don't, Bible is not binding on you. Family ethics is not binding, Christian ethics. So theological education is the place, is the, is the, is the stuff that we, that, we, that we give to those who are planning and who are training to be ordained to the place too, so that they will go there properly formed. And the, the one we had in Nigeria was a colonial model. Any curriculum is customized to meet the challenges and the needs of the society at a particular point in time. And so the curriculum we have been running was the one they used to produce the priests of more than 50, 60 years ago. And so there is a need for us to update our curriculum. Ever since they had that curriculum, new issues have come in. Conflict and peace, peace and conflict resolution has come in. ICT has come in. The world has become globalized. There are so many revisionism coming here and there. And so the theological consultation was called at the instance of His Grace, the Primate of All Nigeria, Most Reverend Dr. Harry Ndukuba, to see let us overhaul the entire uh, uh, seminary system. You, you can't send anybody to Europe or America now to go and train to be a priest. They will come back faithless, they will come back heretic. And so we are saying let us repackage the theological education and let us reformulate it. What it is all about is let us bring in the bishops, bring in theological educators, bring in the priests, and bring in the, some of the laity who are the end users of the product we produce. And so let us now say what kind of priest do we want? What kind of things do you want them to be trained on? The curriculum is one. The second one is the condition of service of the of the theological seminaries. And uh, how can people go there and say this is their calling, they want to stay there, not moving from church to theological colleges. It used to be that because of the poor working condition of theological colleges, they think that those in the churches are enjoying more. So it is the priest that the, the bishop wants to punish or get rid of. The push to theological colleges. So with this disgruntled attitude that they are being persecuted, they don't give their best. They produce bad people who are not committed to the church. So we are saying here, curriculum, we tell us what we should teach them. So when they are formed, secondly, the condition of service. What salary scale do we want to do we want to put? The proposal on the ground is theological educators should have a separate salary scale and they should rise through the rank like university people. Because many of our theological colleges are actually affiliated to universities.